today uh, for example if you don't want to have to suffer from the corona pandemic consequences you can create for example a digital shop okay. so instead of creating a place and every time there's lockdown you lose customers and so on and so forth you can organize orders mm -hmm. you can ship whatever you do or you can even sell digital services okay the same goes with many people that you see online doing a lot of stuff mm -hmm. the most important thing is to focus what you do and to know exactly what you want to do because there are so many things you can do online let me give you a simple example you know, today we have a lot of sisters who are very skillful when, in, when it comes to hairdo, hairstyle, makeup, face makeup, and so on and so forth, lip glosses. I see. Absolutely. But do you know you can monetize videos about you doing people's hair, doing nails? You can monetize that. Because the more views, then the more links, promoted links that you can put in your videos so that when people click, and they go to the store, they can buy whatever you talk about. And when they buy whatever you talk about, these are not your items. Those items are sponsored. It means anytime you bring somebody to buy an item, you get paid a commission. Mm -hmm. So this is what we call affiliate marketing on the internet. So it's not just about gossiping, talking about a neighbor's wife, <laughs> talking about your best friend has deceived you. We don't care what the best friend has done. This is your private life. But if you use internet um, positively, if you can channel your energy, you can make it. Let me give you a second example. Okay. With the coronavirus, a lot of teachers lost their jobs. True or false? Yeah. Now, today we have more and more digital classrooms. In other words, if you have internet and you have a laptop or a tablet or even a smartphone, you can teach your language. You can teach your math. You can teach your chemistry. You can teach your physics. And I know from your university, at a certain time, you guys were learning online. Absolutely. So if you do, the, you do have the skills, you can monetize your lessons, your courses online. So it's all about the usage of internet. Now, let me give you the third example, which is mine. I get paid to read text online. This is one of the funniest things that you've ever seen. Somebody pays you to read. Sorry. Indeed, there's what we call voiceover, which is a whole world uh, of opportunities today we have even uh, academies where you study to read one of the greatest uh, narration academies in the world is called acx.com acx stands for stands for uh, audiobook creation exchange so it's a university in the state where you have a degree for reading it looks ridiculous they give you a degree for reading because reading is a job, it's a profession. Yes, a lot of people that you see on TV, on documentaries, on movies, they are professional narrators. So these are things that I teach at Gemini Multimedia Limited. So like I said, we have a lot of uh, free webinars. If you take part, I give a lot of inf information. So what people have to do is just to follow my channels that will be displayed under the screen. And then you can watch our activities and then you can bump into the next webinar you can learn something new who knows another example is for example um, what we call transcription transcription is you get paid to listen to an audio and to type exactly what you hear mm -hmm. it sounds ridiculous but it's a big industry you get paid to write what you hear but look at the number of randoms look at the number of Africans who can read and write and who are still complaining that there is no job. Meanwhile, transcription has thousands of daily opportunities. You get paid to write, to type what you hear. So many companies, hospitals, courts, justice systems, universities, schools, and so on and so forth, conversations, all of those are written by transcribers. And they get well paid. People make a living from that. So let us not forget that internet is a very powerful tool. It depends on how you use it, just like a knife. If you sharp it too much, it can hurt you. Yeah. But if you know where to point it at, you never get hurt. That's what I can say.